Audio Jungle. questions that you may think we have about the surgery. Uh, you'll meet with the anesthesiologist and he or she will get you up to sleep. Okay? The operation takes me less than two hours to do. Okay? Uh, obviously you'll be asleep the whole time. There's going to be some soreness and some uncomfortable uh, pain, uh, but we have plenty of medications to be sure you're comfortable. Okay. So I don't want you to worry about that at all. Good. I think I'm ready. Uh, I believe uh, I've thought about this for a while, a long time. And as you mentioned, there are low risks, but I'm willing to take those low risks to help my brother. Well, thank you. If it wasn't for you and your gift of life, your brother would not uh, be benefiting from the great gift of life. I feel um, awesome. I, I can tell you this. I've thought about this uh, uh, surgery for almost three, four months. And the one thing that's always come to mind is how you can help another human being, you know, especially being your brother, uh, regarding giving him life again. That's what I've learned when I came to this uh, transplant center or the hospital. I learned that they call it the gift of life. And to me, the gift of life is it's an awesome thing to do for another human being. Uh, it's not about the money, because of course you don't get paid for this operation or this you know, for your kidney. It's about the love that you have for another person. Um, I, did, I did a lot of research on the internet. I did a lot of uh, studying. They teach you a lot here at the hospital. And I've come to the conclusion that it's such a small thing on my part, but it's a huge thing for the recipients of the kidney. Well, when I came up here to the recovery room, I was feeling a, a little bit of pain, but that pain went away pretty quick. Uh, not only because the medication they gave me was a lot better up here, but also because my brother, I knew he was doing a lot better. And uh, what I hear from my wife is that my brother kept asking for me to, uh, right after he woke up, which to me, that's amazing. You know, he was more worried about me than he was about himself. And that's very touching and you know I was worried about him as well so when I heard that he was doing well that immediately made me feel a lot better and uh, that's in a nutshell what happened in the morning I mean right after surgery yesterday between 12 and 3 or 4 o'clock um, after that my wife goes out and went to get some of my clothes and she comes back with the surprise that my friends came from Monterrey, Mexico. And they just came here to visit us and make sure that we're okay. And give us the, the good strength to be with us. Um, I feel great. I just kept thinking back about the time when I wasn't even thinking about donating. And how everything came about, how everything evolved through this process. And it just makes me realize that I did the right thing. Every minute that passes, I, if I had three kidneys, I would donate two, you know. 